We have your news on the go for you this morning. Police and sheriff's deputies are still on the lookout for a man who they say shot at police early Saturday morning in the city of Cheryl. A search around some woods near the Thurston Terrace area in the neighborhood went for several hours yesterday morning. Well, suspect information is limited at this time, but if you have any information about the whereabouts of this individual, you're asked to call the United County Sheriff's Office at 315 736 0141. It was an emotional evening for 81 Central New York servicemen and women and their families arriving at Hancock Airport after a busy day in Washington, D.C. last night. Part of the 14th mission for Honor Flight Syracuse. Like always, it was a great success. The veterans touring the monuments for the wars in which they served. Many of them for the first time this year, four brothers who all served in the U.S. Navy also made the trip. Well, it's been 13 months in the making, but Humane CNY will be holding their official grand reopening today at their newly renovated and expanded location on Taft Road. It's now more than 10,000 square feet thanks to a $2.2 million renovation. Well, the front of the built quarter of the building is still the same, but redone. The back, however, is all new with new dog yards, new cat play spaces, and new kennels. You can have a look inside today from noon to 5 p.m. And if you're also looking to head out today, more than 1,500 people are expected at OCC today for the Alzheimer's Walk Association. Well, things kick off at 1 p.m. In New York State alone, there are 400,000 people living with the disease. All the money raised will go towards research and finding a cure. They hope to beat last year's total of $258,000. News Channel 9's chief meteorologist Jim Teske will be chairing the event.